Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about AWR reports and the baselines. So first thing that is a baseline contain the performance data from the specific time period that is preserved for comparison with other similar workload periods when the performance problem occurs. Fine. So here what actually happened? The baseline contain the performance data from specific time period means it contains the information of your database what is actually happened during the time period that is storing under the baseline and that thing you can compare with other uh, other workload period when the performance problems occurs fine that you can compare okay the snapshot contained in the baseline are excluded from the automatic awr purging process and are retained indefinitely fine so whatever the snapshot contained in the baseline fine that are excluded from the automatic awr purging process and retained indefinitely fine there are several types of available baseline in the oracle database that is the fixed baseline moving window baseline and the baseline templates okay so first is a your fixed baseline so what is under this so fixed baseline correspond to the fixed continuous time period in the past that you have specified Right? This is here you need to define the time period. Before creating fixed baseline, carefully consider the time period that you choose as a baseline. Because the baseline should represent the system operating at the optimal level. Right? So here you need to just define the timing. So in the future you can compare the baseline with the other baseline or snapshot captured during the period of poor performance to analyze the performance degradation over the time is whenever the in future issue occurs so you can compare these two reports find what is it what was the my uh, reports in the baseline and what is the current uh, current things in my database which is you can compare that both these two reports next one is a moving window baseline that is corresponding to the all awr data that exists within the awr retention period fine so this is based on the your data exist within the awr retention period that is for the moving window baseline Okay, this is useful when using the adaptive threshold because the database can cause AWR data in the entire AWR retention period to compute the metric threshold value. Fine, so this is the very useful. Oracle database automatically maintains the system defining moving window baseline. And the default value, uh, default window size system uh, defined moving window baseline that is the current AWR retention period which is the 8 days. So up to 8 days this thing moving window will maintain the your data under the baseline fine up to 8 days after 8 days this is going to be purged if you are planning to use adaptive threshold consider using a larger moving window such as a 30 days to accurately compute the threshold values fine you can increase from 8 days to 30 days also if you want to do this very properly you can resize the moving window baseline by changing the number of days the moving window to a value that is equal to or less than the number of days the AWR retention period. Therefore, to increase the size of the moving window, you must first increase the AWR retention period accordingly. Fine. So, if you want to increase the size of the moving window, first what you need to do? You need to just increase the AWR retention period accordingly. So, here next one is a, that is the baseline template. You can also create the baseline for continuous time period in the future using being baseline template. There are two types of baseline template. One is a single and one is a repetitive. So here you can use the single baseline template to create a baseline for the single continuous time period in the future. And another, this is the first one. So this is technically useful if you know the before, uh, beforehand of a time period that you intended to capture in the future. So here you know the things why right? that is the your comes under the single baseline templates next for example you want to capture the awr data during the system test that is scheduled for the upcoming weekends here you know the timings so in this case you can create the single base template to automatically capture the time period when the test occurs fine so here you know the timings on the time automatically single baseline template is created you can use the repeating baseline template to create and drop the baseline based on the repeating time schedule. Fine. So this is useful if you want Oracle database to automatically capture the continuous time period on ongoing 
basis fine so here for example you want to capture the awr data during the every monday morning for a month so in this case you can create a repeating baseline template automatically create the baseline on the repeating schedule for every monday and automatically removes the older baseline after the specific expired interval such as a one month fine so here two things are there single and repeated if you want to fix like a on this sunday you want to do so what you can do on that uh, you can just specify that single baseline where the data is going to be stored and also the another one that is the your uh, repeating baseline so which is going to be repeat like every monday you want to do the testing fine you want to just store that uh, you were performing the testing of the application so on that time it is repeatedly store creating your baseline on every monday that is uh, every monday and automatically remove the older baseline specified expiration interval such as a one month so let's see practically how to create this baseline in awr reports first of all you need to just go to the your server page and on the server page you can see the it automatic workload repository that is for creation of the awr report and this is the another one for the awr baseline so here the main purpose of the awr baseline that is for the it is storing the specific time period uh, uh, performance reports fine that reports you can just compare with the any other time period whenever the issue occurs so here if you want to create the new awr baseline so you can just create over here so here you have two option one is choose the one of the baseline interval types listed below one is a single so single type of baseline has a single and fixed time interval for example january 1st 2007 10 am to january 1st 2007 uh, 12 pm this is the only one time this is repeating that means repeating type of baseline has a time interval that repeats over the time period for example every monday 10 am to 12 pm for the year 2007 so every monday it will take uh, for the year 2000 it will take uh, every monday 10 am to 12 pm it will take the your uh, awr reports baseline fine so here this is repeating and i am going with the repeating option i am just clicking on the continue okay i am just giving the name like test one this is i am just doing the testing okay uh, this is the start time 12 duration for the 24 hours fine and i am just taking it to daily basis and the timing what i am giving is that is uh, 7 30 pm to 7 45 pm fine so what happened every uh, day on week uh, daily basis at 7 30 fine uh, i'm just starting with the today only on the 25th of december i'm just here changing the date also and i'm keeping uh, for the end time fine that is for the daily uh, and uh, here i am just changing the time to 7 45 pm fine and here i am just changing it yeah this is the 7 45 pm fine now retention time day that is i will just keep 30 days fine after that it will going to be uh, just automatically it is going to be purged fine so here i am just creating repetitive baseline templates so this is not going to be purged on every eight days fine that is based on the snapshot interval time which you have defined and this is basically used permanently basically store permanently fine and this is basically can be used in case and the same time means between 7 30 to 7 45 if you are receiving the same any issue performance issue then you can just compare with this time period for with the previous baseline report fine so let me click on the finish fine so here you can see the baseline creation succeeded so whenever the baseline is going to be created automatically it will it will show you over years one baseline is already there system moving windows that is the by default which is created eight days fine statistic computed years last computed on 20th of uh, uh, to the uh, December 2017 start time was this and end time was this fine so this is automatically created but we have created also the another one which is going to be taken at 7 30 so in this way 
you can create AWR baseline that with the two options single and repetitive which we can use for the future use in case if you have any performance issue for the comparison fine so in this session we have discussed about AWR baseline thank you